Countries are advising their citizens to avoid Lebanon. This is armed conflict between rival Palestinian groups at a refugee camp in the south of the country continues. Those clashes have already led to at least 13 deaths and many more wounded. The three Gulf nations of Kuwait, Qatar and Bahrain were the latest to release warnings which urged their nationals in Lebanon to stay vigilant and avoid areas of security disturbances. The concerns and instructions now join Saudi Arabia, Germany and Britain who have all issued similar ones over the weekend. Lebanon's caretaker Prime Minister Najib Mikadi has tried to quell the concerns, saying that he has spoken with his security chiefs and assessed that the situation, quote, does not call for concern nor panic. He added that there was significant progress in resolving the violence in the camp. The Ain al Hawiya camp, created in 1948 by the International Committee of the Red Cross, is the largest of the Palestinian refugee camps in Lebanon, with around 50,000 people living there, an area which, according to a 1969 agreement, prohibits the Lebanese military from entering. Instead, they simply deploy forces around the camp, which critics say has only added to the lawlessness. Let's cross now live to Dubai, where I am joined by Amjad Taha, an expert on international affairs and a political strategist, as well as the regional director at the British Middle East Centre for Research and Studies. The refugee camp is located and is causing international concern is evidently a big issue. Why necessarily is it that it's based on its geopolitical presence in the south of Lebanon? Well, that, that, that's really important. The, the, I mean, the state, uh, the settlement in, in question uh, is a south uh, southeast of the uh, of the port city of Sidon in Lebanon, known as uh, Ain al Hilwa. Now, this settlement is is housing uh, about about 70,000 70, individuals. Uh, refugees uh, with a refugee status. And here, uh, let's start with first and foremost, uh, the essential correct, uh, correcting of, uh, of, of our terminology. It's not a settlement, uh, it's, 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 it's not a camp, it's a settlement with houses and not a camp with, with tents. It has become a heaven for, for uh, criminals escaping Lebanese law, since uh, the army cannot now uh, enter, uh, enter the area. Essentially, uh, it's a state within a state. Uh, within its borders uh, reside members of extremist groups. Now we're speaking about Hamas, Al-Qaeda, IS, jihadists, rapists, uh, PLOs, criminals. Currently, many of those groups are at war with each other, and we shouldn't uh, be shocked if at any time soon we hear them proclaiming uh, uh, the Ain al Hulwa state of Palestine. Do not be surprised. And, and uh, being, uh, being it in, in, in the south, it's where, where Hezbollah is controlling, uh, it's, not, it's not very shocking and it's not surprising to many people who are being observant of, of the Lebanese politics. Now, is this why Gulf countries felt an urgent need to publish the travel warnings? Is there something that the international community should be doing more than possibly issuing warnings to their citizens and possibly sending condemnations? Is there a responsibility on the global community to be assisting here, or is this specifically the responsibility of the Lebanese officials? Well, I think the situation in Lebanon is getting worse, and, and the army can't keep people safe, simple as that, and, and the law isn't working there. The Gulf countries are worried about their citizens. So uh, they are telling them not to travel and they're, and they're uh, and, and not to, uh, and to come back home if they are already there. Uh, I think one of the main big uh, concern is, is the Ain uh, al-Hulwa's area, where certain groups are causing trouble, killing, raping, stealing, and so on. They're even using women and children as, as a human shield to protect themselves. And, and it seems like they are, and they might kidnap people to harm others just for money. So I think there is a lot of concerns, and, and those concerns worth uh, being um, striked on an international uh, level. I'm Jad Taha, an expert on international affairs and a political strategist, as well as the regional director at the British Middle East Centre for Studies and Research. Thank you very much for your insight this evening.